Hey guys, this is Luis and welcome to Filipina Destiny's YouTube channel. So our topic for today is about dating cultures here in the Philippines. But before we're going to start, please like, subscribe, and click the notification down below. Alright, so I'm going to find Filipinas and I'm going to ask them four questions. It's about what is the dating scene like in the Philippines? How do they met potential um, partners? And how do they know if they are ready to enter into a serious relationship? And lastly is about what are some red flags do they watch out for when it comes to dating? Without further ado, let's go! And I'd choose you In a hundred lifetimes I'd choose you In a hundred worlds I'd find you And I'd say I do For the rest of Hi guys, welcome to Filipina Destiny's YouTube channel and I have a beautiful Filipina here to answer our questions. What's your name, ma'am? I'm May. Um, Ma May, how old are you? I'm 30. Are you single? Yes, for now. Okay. Alright guys, so we're going to ask her questions about like dating culture here in the Philippines. Alright, Ma May, so are you ready to answer our questions? Yes. Alright, so first question is that what is the dating scene like in the Philippines? Um, it's common for men to pursue women through mm -hmm. romantic gestures such as sending flowers. Okay. Okay. And most commonly for now, for men, are dating through restaurants, going to restaurants or some beaches. Oh, okay. Such a romantic places. Yes. yes. All right. So let's proceed to question number two. So how do you meet potential um, partners? Potential partners? Yeah. Um, through mutual friends, family. Yeah, family, or, friends. Yeah, they're yeah, they're yes. going to like uh, introduce you to yes. their friend yes or visitor yes or maybe in workplace mm -hmm. but yeah. but commonly in social media also that's a wonderful um answers to our questions since you are 30 years old already so how do you know if you are ready to enter uh into a, a serious relationship mm, i think for me, I am ready to enter a serious relationship when I am emotionally stable mm -hmm. or even I am genuinely want to share my life with someone. Most importantly, yeah. I am financially secured. Yeah, are you, are you the type of women that you want to be uh, financially okay before entering into a serious relationship? Yes, I want to be... That's, That's my type. Secret. That's my girl. <laughs> All right. So, last but not the least, question. So we have our fourth question to ask, Mommy. These are the common questions of people, not only men, for women also. That what are some red flags that you watch out for when dating? Uh, for me, I think. Um, I think men have has red flags when he is disrespect my family oh disrespect yes and consistent communication consistent lack, yes lack of future plans most important i'm most commonly now when the boy is more excessive jealousy oh yeah when it comes to jealousy um too yeah you can be jealous but you can talk about it but too much jealousy can cause problems or can do abusive acts to their partner and that's a no-no that's yes. a big red flag yes so is that all mommy yes. all right thank you so much for answering our question so this will help our Born men that will find out what are the dating culture inside the Philippines, especially specifically to Filipino women. 
So thank you so much, Mom May, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's at Filipina Destiny's YouTube channel. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Hey guys. So today I have a beautiful Filipina here. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Farah. How old are you, Farah? I'm 40. Um, are you single or into a relationship? Single mom. Oh, you're a single mom. And how many kids do you have? I have four kids, two boys, two girls. So that the eldest is 19 and the youngest is 12. That's nice. So what do you work or what do you do for a living? And I work in a call center. So it had been like, it had been nine years working in call center. That's pretty cool. How is it like handling customers and how's the pressure? Um, the pressure is there. And at the end of the day, it's, um, it's the pressure to provide for like to earn for a living and to provide something so that I could send my kids to school. So that's what matters the most. That's pretty tough, but you're a cool mom. For me, you're a cool mom. Thank anyway, you. so um, today I'm going to interview you so that my viewers outside Philippines will know about the dating cultures here in the Philippines. I have first question here. Um, what is the dating scene like in the Philippines? The usual dating scene nowadays is like um, get to know first, get the number, and then exchange messages, and then meet up. And then dating site, I tried multiple times. But unfortunately, I'm like, I'm not lucky enough to find the man meant for me. And it always ends up like, I feel like it's a waste of time, like browsing and browsing. And then it's always on get to know stage and then ends there. Because I would end up or the other person would end up, no, we don't match. So that's how it feels like. All right, man, that's all right. Um, you will going to meet the one that is meant for you all right so let's proceed to our second question how do you meet potential um partners what do you mean in what sense like for example you're gonna meet someone through friends or from family friends i actually never had tried that like mm -hmm. introduced by friends there was one um, that was introduced by friends, but it didn't work that way because um, I just liked the person because it was introduced by a friend or a close relative. And then only to find out that, you know, it, we are not meant to be. And there's no love on it. Uh, there's no love. We tried the relationship, but only to find out like... Um, it's a lesson, you know, it's a lesson to learn a journey yeah. that I enjoyed along the way. But then, yeah. All right. So, Farah, so our third question is about how do you know when you're ready to enter into a serious relationship? So I invested in myself uh, right now, like my decision is not just about the feeling that I'm feeling at the moment mm -hmm. or the, the thrill that the, uh, the person is bringing every time we meet. It's always about like, am I comfortable? I'm at peace. Um, will we survive if things come to worst? When it comes to practical things financial things are we going to match together because it's not just i already have four kids i don't want to add another another child him as a i want to add him as a husband not him as another child you know what i mean yeah. um at, at this age i'm already past those you know those relationship we're in um, stress for fun, like um, good in bed, 
that's always you know it's always like that but it's all um, we should consider I always uh, take consideration that I'm not adding additional burden if I can if we can have a child together then that's good but if we you know what I'm like on the maturity state I want a guy who would really match my maturity and at the same time who's matured enough to know his obligation not just financially but of course time emotional you know emotional needs of a family or a partner yeah it's a matter of total package for the guy like he is mentally emotionally and physically and uh, financially stable um, stable he is stable it is a package of that if if it is lacking of something in those um what i mentioned earlier it's not really like a met on your standard mm. on everyone's standard actually because if a guy or a woman is not ready for a serious relationship then it will not gonna work or it will last yes all right ma'am farah that's that's really a wonderful answer i have a last question it's okay it is the last but it is kind of like you know intriguing something because this is the common common thing that you should acknowledge when it comes to dating so our fourth question is about what are some red flags you watch out for when dating so red flags are always um the timely um replies uh replies for messages so that's one and the words use like if it's always a yes then that's a question that means it's either he's lying or he can't keep his words second and then my non-negotiable is um, how he treats his parents and his niece or nephews or if he has a child then how he treats his child third that's my non-negotiable and how he respects me so the red flag if his respect of my time is not there then he really he, you know we're not meant to be that's it yeah that's a wonderful answer to all of those questions ma'am hopefully um foreign men would have this as a guide or of having um of the topic about like the perspective on dating cultures here in the philippines and also for the red flags ma'am number one red flag is that being or having an abusive partner like physically and emotionally also financially as well but that's the least i can say so thank you so much farah for this wonderful interview with you and hopefully you will subscribe our youtube channel it is at filipina destiny youtube channel and see you there hope you watch your video there too hey guys so this is my take on the dating culture here in the philippines so i'm gonna answer those four questions that we asked to our filipinas earlier uh first question is what is the dating scene like in the philippines for me it's a mix of traditional and modern perspective so there's still courtship and as well as uh since the technology is here and it's so easy to communicate with the one that you want to court or the one that you love however modern dating apps is more popular these days so they're gonna just search or browse there um they can like talk with the person that they wanted to know it's up to them if they're matched together and of course being romantic and sweet to the person that you wanted to be with will also a plus points when it comes to dating or courting 
a woman here in the Philippines. All right, so we'll proceed to the second question. How do you meet potential partners? And um, the most common thing is a family friend or mutual friend. The second one is in social spaces, just like um, churches, parks, events, and sort of. Today, um, you can meet your potential partners through social media or dating sites. So third question is that how do you know when you're ready to enter into a serious relationship? You should be like ready physically, mentally, and yeah, emotionally, as well as you're willing to take risks. You don't have any excuses. And of course, like uh, you know what you want in a person or a partner and you want it to be fully committed to that person for a fourth and last question is that what are some red flags you watch out for when dating so for me is that first thing is being dishonest it's a turn off second is that they do not keep their word and being abusive like any any kind of abuse just like um emotionally physically the next thing is that it doesn't respect my time always like always canceling in the last minute and gaslighting and all of the sorts uh, that falls into red flags it's a no-no for me so you gotta scoot out of my way anyway so i hope you like our topic for this moment this video and please like subscribe and click the notification down below to be updated for further uh, videos See you soon, guys. Bye.